Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for the week of May 22nd. Uh, we're just going to jump right in here, Pisces. And in your current general energies, you have this card that says, uh, hold your vision. So, you know, I feel it's important for you to stay focused at this time, of course, especially, you know, for the rest of this month, May, even though we're past the retrograde this week, you know, you could still be kind of like feeling the retrograde energy or, you know, there could still be some, you know, confusion. Uh, I would try to remember, I'm, I have a weird message popping into my head, by the way. I, I would try to remember any ideas you've had over the retrograde. So like, if you had any ideas to like start something new or, you know, to do something different in your life or like whatever the case may be, um, you know, I would try to remember those ideas. You could have had like a real banger during, you know, the last like month or so. And I feel like you need to kind of like pay attention to that. I also feel clear you need to get out of your head. This is this right here, this here, Pisces, is very much like a head energy. And what do you know? You have this uh, being too serious card. This last row does represent the good stuff, but you know, I kind of get like a serious energy with this, these five cards here. Um, or you could be like being too serious. You, you know, it's kind of giving me like the woe is me type of energy. And you know, I'm not calling you out here, Pisces, but I also, I totally am. So you know, I would just like say, get out of your head. It's giving me like a little bit of that energy. Uh, you have the four cups here. Like, you know, really, well, I'll sh I'm going to show you here because to me, going this way to that nine of pentacles, it's like saying that, you know, you know, I feel like you need to like open up here, Pisces. You know, it's like some of you, maybe you've like written off people, for example, and I, I'm not even just talking about love here. I'm talking about like people helping you or getting assistance from people because like four of cups, you've been disappointed in the past. Five of swords, it's like you've had to do things on your own. Five of pentacles, like kind of the same thing. Nine of pentacles, being independent, single, <laughs> you know, all that stuff. So I kind of get this energy here, Pisces, this week where it's like you could be feeling like I'm just going to do things on my own. And you know, this could be in business, in work, in your career, it could be in love, whatever. And I feel like you need to heal that. You know, I feel like you need to heal that part of yourself because it's like there are good people. There are people who will help you. There are good people in relationships. There are good people in, you know, all other areas of your life. But I do feel like you need to believe it. Um, you know, three, three of swords kind of suggests that you need to forgive a past situation. Those swords are in your heart. They're not in anyone else's. So, you know, part of the three of swords is it is a card of forgiveness. And it doesn't even mean you have to for, forgive a person directly. Uh, it could just mean that you forgive them in your own heart. Uh, nine times out of 10 with the three of swords, you don't, you aren't forgiving them directly. You're just forgiving yourself for like whatever you didn't see or whatever you didn't pay attention to. So, you know, it's like kind of like this is giving me the vibes. I don't even think it's a bad reading. I actually think when we clarify, it's going to turn out to be a really good reading. But going this way, it's like you took a risk that maybe didn't work out, left you out in the cold. And I feel like you need to like start loving yourself again. I feel like you need to kind of stay focused. And also, you know, I kind of do have hope here, Pisces, because you have the Queen of Swords here and the Queen of Swords finally sees things clearly. So it's like if you went through heartbreak or, you know, some sort of separation or feeling like the world is against you, four of cups, uh, three of swords, ten of swords, five of pentacles, five of swords, you know, that's given it's given me those vibes of like no one understands me. No one, you know, um, you know, the world is against me. Maybe for some of you, it hasn't been that. That dramatic but you know it's just like I, I kind of get that feeling of uh getting tired and i feel it's really important that pisces does not get tired right now you're very close to a finish line um you know, it's like, even if you look at your astrology, things are definitely going to be improving for you over the summer. So I would like encourage you to keep going. I also got in this Knight of Pentacles that, you know, there could be something that you thought about doing during this retrograde, or there could be like a business idea you had. And I feel like you need to um, kind of like put some, you know, thought into that idea, whatever, whatever it was. And I feel like you need to start um, planting seeds here. It's kind of interesting as well, because going this way, um, you know, I have a very specific story popping into my head where it's like, if you see other people doing things that you're doing, like in business, it's like, I remember like, you know, when I was a lot younger <laughs> in business, I would see people doing things that I was doing and they, they were finding success and I wasn't. And I used to compare myself. So, you know, I wouldn't compare yourself to those people. But if you're having those moments where you're saying to yourself, I'm better than that person. Like, why are they outgrowing me? Why are they um, finding more success? Um, you know, I kind of feel like this is saying like, number one, focus on yourself, right? D don't even worry about other people. But number two, it's like, there might be something you're missing here and I, or or you're not doing, you're not putting something out into the world. It's like, I remember years ago, like even before I started this YouTube channel, I was, like I had another YouTube channel and I was 
barely, you know, working on that channel. And I was seeing other people doing what I was doing, but it's like, I wasn't even doing that good of a job on that channel, <laughs> you know? But I was like, how are they growing so quickly? And I'm not, right? But what I ne didn't realize and what I, you know, had to admit to myself is I wasn't working as hard as those people. I wasn't doing the research. I wasn't doing, like, there's so many little things I was missing. And I kind of get that feeling here on the Knight of Pentacles, not calling you out at all, Pisces. I just think that there are some like little tweaks, changes, that you can make in, you know, whatever, wherever you're trying to be successful. And, you know, you have that hold your vision card. So I feel like you have to hold your vision, stay focused and keep working, but also, you know, don't neglect the little things, right? With the uh, four of cups here, you have the nine of cups. Nine of cups is like a wish or wish fulfillment coming in for you. So if it wants to focus, I do feel there is a wish that's coming in for you here. Uh, I feel like you need to stay focused and believe that it's possible. Again, the four of cups is like a little bit of stinking thinking. You know, he's tried to manifest something, but he is ignoring this new opportunity that's coming in here, which we could say is the Ace of Cups right here. So I feel like there could be a very fulfilling opportunity, something that you've wished for, Nine of Cups, but you have to let go of the past and whatever hurt you in the past here, Pisces. With a, th I mean, you, you can't make this up. <laughs> With the Three of Swords, you have the Eight of Swords. It's like, like literally saying a heartbreaking situation has kept you stuck. Eight of Swords is self you know, self-imposed prison, uh, needing to set yourself free. I, I knew when I saw that Ten of Swords, Ten of Swords, like personally, I don't consider the Ten of Swords to be that bad of a card. That guy is dead. You know, it represents a situation that is de dead, done over with. It doesn't get any worse. He has reached rock bottom. So whenever I see the Ten of Swords, it always gives me kind of like Eight of Swords vibes because, you know, sometimes I feel that the person I'm reading for like could be stuck in some way when things could be much better. We literally see this in the reading going eight, ace of cups to the ten of cups. It's like your happiness is here or something that needs that will make you happy. It already exists, but I feel like you have to see that it's possible. Eight of swords can also say like, um, sorry, I, I don't want this timer to go off. <laughs> um, you know, eight of swords can also say like, you're only seeing one way of doing things when there are many. Uh, with the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Temperance card. Yeah, I feel like you've been very patient, but like now it's time to put in the work. I also feel like it's time to transform something. Again, with the Knight of Pentacles, I'll even give you an example. With this channel, like four years ago or three years ago, I, this channel was stuck at like 34, between like 34 and 40,000. I actually kept going down, losing subscribers, right? And, um, you know, and I was like, I get, it was another one of those moments where I'm like, what the hell? is wrong with me? Like, what the hell is going wrong? I'm doing what everybody else does, right? But actually, I wasn't. There were like a bunch of things that I wasn't doing, right? And so I had to transform the situation, which I mean, you can see the results of that right now, right? And so I just started changing one thing in every single video that I did and trying to improve my thumbnails and my titles and, you know, everything that I did, my intros, uh, everything, right? And not only that, I started just keeping track so that I, could, I knew what was working. And uh, guess what? I haven't stopped doing that. I still do it to this day. So, you know, I feel like this is saying you can transform your situation uh, very powerfully, but you're going to have to like, you know, kind of, you know, figure it out. <laughs> uh, you have this delicate rose. It says, be willing to be, uh, be willing to honestly say what you are feeling, no matter how terrifying it may seem. You have this divine intervention. It's pretty interesting. They both have a rose. I'm going to show you in just a second. It says, angels are working behind the scenes to assist you in the miracle you've requested. So I feel some of you have like been, you know, asking the universe for some sort of like prayer, but you can see the rose on both of these cards, which is kind of interesting to me. I don't know, it stood out to me. Roses, like in the tarot, for example, they represent purity or pure intentions. And, um, you know, you have the ace of swords here as well, the queen of swords. These are cards of the truth. And, you know, sometimes when we um, settle for situations in life, then we're not living our truth. So, you know, or, um, it, or I think the other thing is, if you read books like, um, you know, Think and Grow Rich, there are like a lot of books that basically talk about the fact that you need to ask for what you want unapologetically. If you, you know, most people are like, oh, I want $10 million, but I'd happy be happy with $1 million. Uh, it's like, no, you need to unapologetically ask for the 10. Most people, they screw themselves because they, you know, are like, they settle. They say, oh, I'll, I'll accept this. Uh, same thing in love as well. It's like, you know, they'll, people will like settle in love situations. And I kind of feel like this is saying, you know, don't, don't, you know, ask for something and apologize for it. I feel like you deserve something and the universe wants to bring you like rewards, but you have to kind of like go for it um, with this energy is what I would say to you. Uh, so that's, you know, obviously a good thing. You have the Ten of Swords, the Five of Swords in the King of Pentacles. 
you know, I kind of feel like things have been the same for too long with the King of Pentacles. You know, if you're in a stuck situation, you know, King of Pentacles is a card of convention. He represents the way things have always been done. So I feel like some of you maybe need to set yourself free from a situation. You have a Five of Swords, Ten of Swords. You know, maybe you uh, have to end something with a person or whatever. But I feel like you also need to, like, speak your mind here. Um, and, you know, for some of you, maybe you're, like, telling someone, you're, like, getting something off your chest this week. And I kind of have that popping into my head here, Pisces. Uh, if you want new love, by the way, there definitely clearly could be new love coming in for you, going this way, this way. Uh, this, this would be like communication coming in for you as well. So it could be an earth sign. You have a bunch of earth here. It could be any sign. It's a general reading. Uh, you have the five of swords. Um, you know, I don't know. I, I always get like bigger risks for you, Pisces. We've already talked a lot about this five of swords, but you know, there's no doubt you could have gone through a separation or some sort of difficult ending. And, you know, you go up to the Five of Pentacles as well, uh, going this way here. So it's like two people left out in the cold. Someone could have left you out in the cold or, you know, vice versa, I guess. Take it how it resonates. Um, you know, I feel like someone just wanted to win with the Five of Swords. And, you know, maybe you went through this difficult ending, but I feel this reading is encouraging you to heal because it's like clearly the universe wants to bring you something better. Like the universe wants you to bring a bless, wants to bring a blessing. This right here, he's making a symbol with his hands. And that symbol represents a blessing, just like on the Hierophant card. So, you know, I feel that, but it's like you have to be open to receive those blessings. You have to be, you know, open to like new situations, uh, you know, whether it doesn't matter if this is love or a business or, you know, something you want to work on, um, you know, I would just open up to it. With the Ten of Swords, you have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you have the Queen of Swords twice. You know, there could be some sort of truth being revealed here. Um, you know, if it's a past person, I would say that you need to speak your truth here, Pisces. And, um, you know, don't just tell people, like, don't just tell someone that it's okay if, it, if it's not okay, right? I think Pisces just, sometimes we, and again, this doesn't even have to be love. This could just be some sort of past situation that's popping up here, like in work or someone who did you dirty could be like a friend. And I feel like this is saying, like, don't just let people walk all over you, you know? Like, stick up for yourself in this situation and speak your mind. And maybe you need to not respond to a person. Maybe they, you know, say they want an apology or, they, you know, they want to apologize to you. And maybe you need to take a couple days to think about, like, what you're going to say. It's definitely popping into my head. With the Five of Swords, you have the Chariot here. So <laughs> this to me looks like a victory. Uh, you have the Five of Swords, which is like winning at all costs. And you have the Chariot, which is about like taking control of a situation. So I feel like you're kind of taking control. The Chariot is very specifically a card of hard control. They're like, they're, sorry, you didn't want to do that. There are like two cards of control. The Strength card is soft control and the Chariot is hard control. And so it's like, you're really taking control of something here, which is good. Again, I had a feeling this was going to go well. You also have this Journey card here. So some of you could be traveling or moving as well. Uh, with the King of Pentacles, you have the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is a card of um, planting seeds in a new direction. It's also a card of balance. We actually see a lot of this here. You have the Nine of Pentacles right here as well. She is growing grapes behind her. And grapes in the tarot are meant to represent something that requires a lot of skill to grow. And uh, the King of Cups, he has grapes on his cloak. So for a lot of you, it's like you could be growing in work or business or career um, or making some big strides this week. I definitely feel that here um, in your reading. It's like a lot of you could be very work focused, especially if you were hurt in a relationship or, you know, something else. And it looks to me like you're, you know, kind of increasing your finances here. Um, but I get the... Um, you know, again, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, Pisces. I get this feeling of like your full potential. It's like, <laughs> you know, it's like you're here and you could be like up here, you know, um, it's going to require work. People always say to me, they're always like, your readings are too positive, blah, 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 you know, whatever. I'm like, no, I tell people, yes, you're going to have to work. It's, it's not going to magically happen. You're going to have to work your ass off to get up here, of course, but you can, you know, it's like, you know, I just get this feeling that if you are given a certain gift, you know, it's like you should use it, you should put it into work. So, you know, I can't do this for you, obviously, otherwise I would actually, but, um, you know, it's like you're not living your some sort of full potential, especially for those of you in work or business. It's like there's something here where it's like there could be more, but it's like, you know, I don't know what's getting in the way. Maybe like fears or maybe you're fearing um, getting left out in the cold. Maybe you have abandonment issues with the Five of Pentacles. Like I sometimes I think of the Five of Pentacles as like a weird thing because here, we'll just skip forward to the Five of Pentacles. Um, you know, it could be one of those things where, um, you know, maybe you were a kid. It's like, you know, when we're kids, our brains are just like, you know, if someone tells us our ideas are stupid, then, you know, we could grow 
grow up and, you know, think that all our ideas are stupid because, you know, our kid brain is like still active, you know, when we're adults. So we are like, oh my God, all my ideas are stupid. But little do you know that it's like just, you know, as a kid, we're all stupid, right? So who cares? And, you know, as an adult, you have much better ideas, you have experiences. So I feel like you need to like, there's like a part of you that needs to be overcome here is like really what I feel like this reading is talking about. It's kind of a deep reading, Pisces. <laughs> and I feel like it's gonna lead to a lot of success for you if you can overcome these things. And again, I'm not like trying to sit here and be like, oh, it's gonna be easy to get up here. But again, you can, it's like you can live that. Uh, you know, I feel like you can live up here, but you, you know, you should definitely do it. Uh, you have this gift card and this journey card. Some of you need a vacation. I feel like some of you need a break. And I feel like going on vacation, even if you can't travel anywhere, you know, it could be like a staycation. It could just be a day off. It could be like something. Uh, I feel like you should do it because, you know, um, you know, I feel like your brain kind of needs it. I definitely feel some of you, it's like you are, could be getting the opportunity to like travel or move or something. And it could be making life like a lot easier, or simpler, or, you know, it could just feel kind of like a gift here. Uh, again, in this row, you have the five of pentacles, the ace of cups and the nine of pentacles. For those of you that want love, I do feel there could be a love opportunity that is coming in for you in the near future. Might not be this week. You know, I kind of feel for some of you, it just could be happening over this summer. Uh, I always say to me, tarot is timeless. So, uh, you know, take it how it resonates. But, you know, I really feel kind of like over the summer, there could be a person coming in for you. It's like right now you're focused on this right here, nine of pentacles, probably abundance, probably creating success and focus. Uh, I like the Nine of Pentacles because she has six pentacles over here, three pentacles over here. So it kind of says that she's willing to give three pentacles to any situation that she enters into, love, business, health. Like she kind of does things in balance, but she always keeps enough for herself. So it's like a lesson in overgiving. I feel like Pisces, you know, part of your karma as a Pisces is to learn about, <laughs> you know, overgiving to situations. So, you know, a lot of you definitely um, have learned some lessons here. That could be where these heartbreak that you've experienced are, you know, coming up in this reading. You've had these heartbreaks that have taught you uh, like maybe not to overgive in situations or to give more in balance. And I definitely feel that would be, um, you know, obviously a good idea with this energy. I do feel a lot of you are increasing your finances. Um, so, you know, like whatever you're thinking about doing or whatever you're doing, clearly you have the skills necessary to be very successful. And so, you know, I would like get work in here. I would not focus on this. Five of Pentacles says, do not call attention to your weaknesses. It says, focus on your strengths. So, you know, I definitely feel you are in a time where you really need to focus on the things that make you feel strong, uh, that make you feel like you can be successful and, you know, all that other good stuff. So let's see here, Pisces, uh, what is going on for you? With the Five of Pentacles, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, you So like a change in your fortunes. <laughs> Some of you, maybe you've been very worried about your finances. I think I said this to you in your, in your uh, mid-monthly reading as well, but it looks to me like you could be improving your finances or there is a financial improvement. It's kind of another card of control. You know, we can control the Wheel of Fortune with our vibrations. Normally there's like a snake on the side of it, which represents our vibrations. Uh, also all the signs, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo, they're holding books on the Wheel of Fortune can, rep can represent education. There's a Sphinx on the card, which can represent digging into mysteries. And people ask me all the time, like, why would you want to dig into mysteries? I'm like, I don't know, sometimes like mysteries hold gold, right? Sometimes things that we don't understand, when we gain an understanding, we can overcome whatever it is, or we get some sort of reward from whatever it is. You also want to be at the center of the wheel, which basically being at the center of the wheel means paying attention to cycles, things that you've done in the past. It's like, I'm sure we've all been in like multiple relationships that are exactly the same. When you do that, you're living on the outside of the wheel. When you get into a relationship, right, a new relationship, and if it starts to remind you of a past one, you know, if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck and you leave and you say, no, this person's exactly like the last one, then you are living at the center of the wheel. That is how you change your destiny, Pisces, by living at the center of the wheel, paying attention. Uh, with the Ace of Cups, you have the Hierophant. What do you know? You know, uh, I feel like there's a really good love opportunity coming in for you. Definitely could be a Taurus. Um, definitely could be an earth sign in general. If it's a Taurus, I would say it's probably, you know, one that's born closer to the Aries side of things, but, you know, take it how it resonates. Um, could lead to marriage. 
For those of you that don't want love, again, the Hierophant is about um, kind of leveling up. As I've been saying, it's like the two levels that I see in my head here. The Hierophant normally has three levels to his crown. It represents initiation, apprenticeship, and mastery. Uh, actually, most people stay at that middle stage of apprenticeship. They think like, oh, I don't know enough, so I'm just gonna stay here, keep learning, and I'm not gonna go to that mastery stage. So again, I would encourage you to you know, take a risk in work or business or whatever. Uh, with the Nine of Pentacles, you have the Seven of Wands. Yeah, if you're dealing with a past person, I would definitely say it's time to, you know, kind of draw a line in the sand with the Seven of Wands. Maybe some of you already have drawn like some sort of line in the sand here, put up some boundaries. Uh, for others, again, Nine of Wands is a card of conviction. It says, when you know that you know that you're going to be successful, you will be successful. So it's about like your uh, deep held beliefs. So, you know, I would pay attention to there. Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, you have this being too serious card. It says caught up in seriousness makes it hard to enjoy what you are doing. It says smell the roses. Two ro like, are you kidding? Two roses right here. Um, when you take life too seriously, you risk losing sight of what actually needs your attention. Move away from thinking your purpose is your job and you will start to see uh, your life in a new light. You have this bad decisions card. It says, ignored your intuition and now suffering the effects of a bad decision. And, you know, again, remember, this is the good stuff. So we're, we're, I mean, we're gonna talk about this in a minute. It says, if things are not going well, it's, not, um, it's best not to make important decisions during this time and wait until you are in a good enough frame of mind and have gathered enough information to make an informed decision. So again, this is the good stuff. I feel like maybe some of you did make a bad decision in the past or maybe you have noticed that you are being too serious and I feel like you are lightening up because, you know, again, this is the good stuff. So these are gonna be good no matter what. And the thing is, is that you have the 10 of cups. 10 of cups is like fortune after difficulty, but 10 of cups is also um, happy home, happy family. And it can also just represent happiness in general. So I feel for a lot of you, this could just be you focusing on happiness or doing something that makes you happy. I, again, I always say like, I like literally I've seen it again, paying attention to cycles, being at the center of the wheel and the wheel of fortune. It's like, I see it happen in my life all the time. Like I, when I'm working too much and I'm not doing things that I enjoy, things start to slow down. I start making less money. I start making mistakes, you know, like bad things start happening. So, you know, again, I've like really made it a point over the past like four years really of doing things that I enjoy or making sure to at least take a little bit of time to do things I enjoy, spending time with friends, uh, spending time who are with people who are important to me, um, like what whatever it is, right? So, you know, I feel for a lot of you that could be happening here. Again, if you're looking for love, I literally feel that the second you let go of something here, so like that happened, <laughs> I feel like this is when this new love shows up. You have the 10 of swords. Clearly a situation is dead done over with. And, you know, I feel like you've been hoping for blessings. You know, maybe someone did a number on you in the recent past Pisces, right? I feel like this has kind of been coming up for you. And again, I would be careful of allowing this person to come in and tell you the truth. It's like, maybe you already know the truth. I feel like this has also been coming up for you. It's like, you already know the truth. It, it's like, you know, I always make the joke that it's like, do you really want to hear that your ex cheated on you with like your mother, your sister, your brother, your uncle, and like every single person from down the street? It's like, no, you probably don't want to know that. So if you have to block a person, block a person. But again, I feel like you already know the truth. It's like, if you're wondering, you know, if you're, if you've been having these thoughts like, oh, did this person do this? It's like, yes, they did. Right. <laughs> so I I feel like you already know the truth. You already know that someone is like a liar to your sealer. You already know that someone is just a big freaking liar in general. And that's definitely been coming up for you for like the past couple of weeks here that some of you maybe dealt with a liar. Could have been an air sign or someone with a lot of error in their chart, right? So I would be careful of that. You have the queen of swords, you see things clearly. So I feel like you need to pay attention, but I feel with these two cards together, Pisces, it's like you see a victory that could be coming in for you. I feel like you see the things that need to be removed from your life with the Ace of Swords. And it's like now you see a way forward. Is That's like literally the words that are popping into my head. I feel like you see something um, in your life that could, you know, bring a lot of success or, um, sorry, I think I mixed those up. But, um, you know, you see something that is going to uh, move your life forward in some way. Because again, there's a very stuck energy at the beginning of this reading. Uh, with the Ace of Swords, you have the Page of Pentacles. Yep, are you like, are you kidding? Definitely an Earth sign that wants to communicate with you here. It could be any sign. I mean, Taurus, obviously, for obvious reasons, stands out to me. It could also be a Sag, uh, you know, Sagittarius, could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo. Uh, could be a Cancer as well, take it how it resonates. But, um, you know, again, there's definitely someone who wants to communicate. I feel like it'll make you very happy, Pisces. Uh, with the Queen of Swords, yes, you have the Three of Swords. This is a good thing. Again, I feel like you're forgiving a situation. Maybe you're not directly forgiving a situation, but I feel like you are forgiving something in your heart, and this is probably setting you free. 
And with the Ten of Cups, you have the Magician. Yes, you have attracted something in, into your life. You know, again, if you want love, I feel like you've attracted like a very loving connection. Maybe it's not here yet. Like I said, I feel for you, Pisces, it could be, you know, coming in over this like this summer or whatever. But it's like you've earned something. I, I, like I, I, I wouldn't say you've passed a test, right? But I feel like the universe sees that you've always done the right thing. Pisces and you know maybe you've dealt with a bunch of people who always do the wrong thing and who always lie cheat and steal basically and um you know what I would say here is that you know I feel like the universe just sees that you did the right thing and you are going to be rewarded I do get like you know for some of you you could be dealing with a person who's like literally dealing with like legal matters and this could be like in prison in jail <laughs> you know I feel like for some of you, you could be really dealing with a person from the past who's going through it but I feel like they did it to themselves so you know I feel like it's time for you to focus forward and you know to focus on like new opportunities bigger and better things right and, you know, I feel like there's like a blessing coming in for you, especially if you want love. But even if you don't want love, you know, again, there's clearly some idea that could lead to, you know, a lot of success here. Just pay attention to the cycles. We're going to pull five main themes now. You have this friend card. So I do feel some of you could be making new friends. Uh, I also do feel that someone could be coming in as a friend at first and it could progress into a relationship. I actually kind of feel like this is something that happens very quickly. <laughs> so, uh, you know, this could be like a sexy friend. I can't say the word that I want to say on YouTube. So, you know, the type of friend where you have bedroom fun, you know, you take your clothes off. That's as nasty as I'm going to get here on YouTube. But there you go. Uh, you have this joyfulness card. There's a lot of happiness coming in for you here, Pisces. A lot of reasons to celebrate. I would definitely encourage you to socialize. There is an element to this reading of needing to get out of your head, needing to go have fun, you know, all that stuff. Uh, you, you have this journey card. You have basically two, literally two cards that say journey on it. So it is time for you to travel. I kind of feel like if you're traveling over the summer or, you know, doing something, you know, to get out of your head, that could be a good idea. Uh, you have this messenger card, definitely communication. You know, again, I feel for some of you, it literally could be this week that you do receive communication from a person uh, who is interested in you, but, you know, I, I don't really see it Maybe, you know, maybe maybe they live at a distance. You have the journey card, so it might take time for the two of you to meet or something like that. But, you know, definitely communication here. And uh, finally, you have this enemy card. I'm telling you right now, I would be careful of this past person. On this card, it's like um, kind of hard to see, but it's like he's hiding behind this tree. And it's like there's a person right here above my finger. So it's like someone is spying on you, Pisces. And, you know, I would just be careful of this person. You know, I feel like maybe this person didn't have good intentions in the first place. So, you know, I would just be careful if you feel, if you feel, it feels like a feeling to me. It's like, I don't even think, you know, I think you know the truth, even if this person didn't tell you the truth, even if they're coming in to tell you the truth. <laughs> and I feel like this is saying, like, how much more proof do you need that this person is a bozo, right, Pisces? So I would be careful of this. But uh, Pisces, I feel like you're heading in the right direction. I would just encourage you to, you know, get up here, right? So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.